Sheila Daly, Island House, Clonbenan, County Cork. The 20 foot map of the Blackwater Valley. Its discovery, your role in its, in its uh, transfer to the National Library and your communication with the National Library. Sheila, over to you. Uh, the map was pre famine discovered by Dr. Ted Neville, Trinity College, Dublin, who was working in the area of Canturk coal mines and came across this gentleman, Michael O'Connell, who had this pre Famine map. It was laid out on the side of the road. It's 20 feet long, made of parchment, and I asked Mr. O'Connell if he would um, give me the map. I would take it up to the National Library. And he said he would provide us that there would be a camera and a presentation with Mr. Eamon de Valera. He needed his photograph handy over the map in the National Library. Michael O'Connell, he was a colourful character. How did you get to know him? I got to know him because he called to our licensed premises, public house, owned by my father, Michael Newman. And Michael O'Connell came regular as he suffered from some disease that he needed a cure and the cure was a small brandy and a dash of sandman port and he would have a few of those and then he would say did I ever tell you about this map that I have So the map that he had, did he talk to you regularly about it or was it only after he had the cure? After he had the cure. <laughs> so what happened, Michael? Michael was at the licensed premises one evening having his cure and he decided he would go home by the shortcut, which meant crossing the river and on his way crossing the river he fell in and he got drowned and that was the end of my life. And that appeared to be the end of the map as well as it went missing for quite a period of time. Yes. Twenty years or more passed by and Dr Neville kept asking me by any information regarding the map and at the time I didn't have any information and then one day I was speaking to um, Mr. Carntand and he told me that he got the map out of the house when Michael died, and he passed it on to a father, Ford, who was a curate in Bantir, now living in Mallow. I contacted Father Ford and I asked him about the map, and he said he had it, but it wasn't his. 
property and I told him how there was a Mr. Ted Neville, geologist, looking for the map. And he says, uh, no problem, tell him call and I will give it to him. So Ted Neville did call, got the map, and he took it up to the National University, or library. And he handed it over. Previously, Michael had asked him, would he take it and sell it to the library? And he said, yes, that was years previous. And when he took it up and showed it to the librarian, the librarian said, offer the owner eight pounds, nothing more. And I think may go, you may go to ten pounds, but no more. And he came back, and Michael, he said to Michael, I have bad news for you, Michael. I didn't get what you wanted. And he said, all the librarian offered me was eight pounds. Well, said Michael, I will leave it or keep it and let the mice eat it. And he spat out, rather than give it to you for eight pounds. That didn't work out. And then the map was missing for a long, long time. And it was Father Ford who got it eventually. So is it true that approaching your centenary, your hundred year, that on your bucket list is a visit to the National Library? I hear they've been in touch with you. I have been in touch with the National Library and I've got a letter and phone number. Inviting you to the National Library? Yes. Um, and after all of this time and your pivotal role in securing the map, you haven't seen the map? Never saw the map. So your highlight on your bucket list is a visit to the National Library to view the Griffith map, pre-famine, Blackwater Valley. Yeah. Very good, Sheila. Thank you. Thank you.